Hi everybody. Yes, I'm back again. I know, scary. I'm like doing this a couple of times a, a day and, and like getting ready to upload and like be on schedule again and all that kind of stuff. I, I just, yeah, I don't get it either. Anyway, I thought I would do a fifth thing that I am grateful for and then follow that up with the five things you don't know about me tag. Anyway, the fifth thing I'm grateful for is I'm actually very grateful for YouTube. It's been a lot of fun so far. Yeah, I haven't been here very long, but it's been a lot of fun. It's been an excuse to do things for myself that I haven't been doing on a regular basis for some time because I really didn't have an excuse to go out and do stuff and I'm not really able to go out and do as much as I used to. Chronic illnesses are a pain in the butt. Just, we'll go there. Yeah, they just suck. Anyway, being as this has given me a chance to do things like do my makeup and sometimes wear jewelry that I haven't worn in a while because I haven't had any place to go, so I put it on. And just in general, be up and about and moving around and doing things besides just focusing on the, the junk on the computer and just watching stuff go by. I'm very grateful, very grateful, and I'm grateful to every one of you who has subscribed and who watch and who give me thumbs up. No, there's not a lot of you yet, but that's okay. There are a few more sneaking in every day. Anyway, five things you don't know about me. First thing, my delightful husband, who did my makeup for me in one of the other videos, is my third. I'm his first. He never got around to it earlier. Yeah, I've been divorced twice. And then when I got married this time, I decided it would either be all or nothing or a murder trial. Yeah, I wasn't doing the divorce thing again. Not worth it. Anyway, about the same time, I, I spent five years with each of the first two. The first time, five years, got a divorce. Second time, five years, got a divorce. This time, got to five years, got my first tattoo. A lot better than divorce papers. Actually, a lot cheaper, too. It was great. Great big Luna moth in the middle of my back. I'll show you a picture at some point. Number two goes right along with the, the tail end of the first one. I have tattoos. The big one, and then I have one on my right hip that says push. It says push because of a art project done by an artist named Shelley Jackson, who is in New York. And the art project is she wrote a story and had people volunteer to have words from the story tattooed on themselves in a book face. The only people who actually know what the words, the, all the words of the story are, are people who are in the project. We took pictures of the tattoo. We took headshots. We sent all of that to Miss Jackson, and she has done with that her art projects. So, and yes, I will try and I will try and remember to look up the project because the stuff is still on the on the internet and put it all up so that you can go see what she's done with it. There's also still some words left available at, that I'm that I. Yeah, because it was supposed to be 2,000 people 
that would have to volunteer to do this. Um, now, a couple of friends of mine are also in this project because when I told them about it and told them why I was asking for a local tattoo shop at the time, they got all excited and also contacted Miss Jackson to volunteer to be in the, um, the project. So we've got several words that are part of my little troop of friends. And I like my tattoo. It's just, it's just one word. I got lucky. I didn't need a punctuation point to go with mine. And I'm about midway through the story. No, I'm not telling you what the story is. <laughs> if you want to find out about the story, you'll have to talk to Ms. Jackson and follow the project. Okay, number three. Number three, my husband, my beloved husband, picks out and approves my wardrobe. No, when I'm getting it. You see, I really have no concept of what looks good on me. It's, it's an issue that goes along with being in my situation with having a bad relationship with food. I also have some body dys dysphoria. I don't see myself the way anyone else does. So it's difficult to actually figure out what looks good on me. So I have to take him with me and he goes over anything I try on and make sure it fits. It looks good. It doesn't like, it's not like bunched up or too tight or too loose or whatever. But he does that because I literally, because of the dysphoria issue, cannot figure out what I should be wearing. I can, once I have stuff in the closet, I can pretty well put together things like, okay, that's black pants, I can wear any shirt, or it's a burgundy sweater, I need something that's not going to like be like neon green with it. So yeah, that part I can get. Putting the colors together on my face for doing makeup, I can get. Whether or not something fits me, not so much. It just doesn't work. Number four. I can food. I can bake. I can sew. I can knit. I can spin. I can weave. I can dye. I can carve my own needles out of animal bone or out of wood. I can spin with a drop spindle. I used to do living history. And most of the time when I was doing the living history, it was very early on, like 450 AD Britain after the Romans had left that kind of time period. But I'm also very big on a lot of skills that our parents had that some of us are starting to rediscover and some of us have learned over time, starting with like my grandmother taught me, that kind of thing. But I can food. I raise most of it. If I can, it's like our we just moved here, so we didn't have much of a garden, but what of a garden we did have, we canned up. It's like we've got green tomato relish, green tomato pickles, because we ate the red tomatoes. Um, the relish and the things like the um, rhubarb chutney that we put up, has onion in it from our yard where we grew the onions. So yeah, we've got stuff put up in the cabinet 
that will last us through probably until next spring that we did from our own garden. Now, the rhubarb wasn't originally planned. It was already here when we got here. But gorgeous, gorgeous, big rhubarb plant. So, yeah, we went berserk. And we've got just enough rhubarb left in the frozen stuff that we did that I'm going to be doing a rhubarb crumble shortly. Now, the fifth thing, five things, remember, one, two, three, four, five. My wedding to Jim was Renaissance themed, and the dress took nine months to make. Yes, eventually I will put pictures up of that too, okay? Okay. But that dress, it's a white on white brocade, and it has one of the pineapple patterns in it. I wasn't going to be able to sew all of those beads on that I wanted to use. So what we did was we got some of the textured fabric paint that would bubble up a little bit so that it would look like a bead still took forever because you could only do so wide and then you had to let it dry before you could move it and take the next panel. My skirt was 10 yards of fabric. 10 yards that we put down on the table and took the little droppers and beaded this thing at all the little points on the pineapples and all the other there's other little crossings that are in part of the pattern and it's got we've got coral colored beads and peach pearl colored beads all over this thing and yeah it took nine months to build this dress thank goodness Meester's jump yeah, didn't take near so much. He was wearing his kilt and a gorgeous doublet. Yes, it took a while, but not nearly the time that dress took. Thank goodness that was the only one that took that long. It was definitely interesting. But that's my five things. Now, let's see. I'm a stamper, Pink Sweets, added a little something to her version of the tag and asked for people to tell her something. Just one thing about them that she wouldn't know. And I'm going to add that one too. Tell me one thing that I wouldn't know about you guys. Let's talk about it. If this is your first visit, please subscribe. If you subscribe, please ring the bell. That way you'll get a notification anytime I put up another video. If you're back, hi! Nice to see you again. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you have anything to say, including the one thing I don't know about you, please put it in the comments below. I hope you had fun. Hope you remember to vote. Remember, it's on the 6th. Be good.